Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I actually want to answer some of the most frequently asked questions I get about studying medicine in Italy. These might be through the contact forums or through DMs or through the comments. I'm going to answer all of these questions here today. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first one is, is it easy to get into? Personally, I'm going to be honest, I think so, yes. Compared to Ireland and a lot of other countries, I think it is a lot easier to get into studying medicine in Italy in English. Okay, compared to other countries that are more like profit-based, uh, there are other medical universities in Europe that offer medicine in English that are a lot, 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 lot more expensive, but is a lot, lot, lot easier to get into. But I think compared to countries like the US, UK, Ireland, I think getting into studying medicine in Italy in English is a lot easier in my personal opinion. And the main reason for this is that there is only one 90 minute exam called the IMAT you have to take. You don't, your high school grades don't matter. What subjects you've taken don't matter. Nothing else matters. There are no interviews. It's literally just one 90 minute test. And I think that the stakes are so much lower and I think that's why it's a lot easier to get into studying medicine here in Italy. The next question is, what is the best university in Italy to study medicine in English? And I'm going to tell you right now that this is a really terrible question to ask because once you actually get in, you're going to realize that university rankings, etc., actually don't matter. There are like 10 different rankings that will give you 10 different answers and none of them are actually that accurate and most people don't even actually understand how university rankings work. People think that university rankings actually assesses the quality of teaching, but that's actually not true. There are so many other factors, including just what the reputation of the university is. But the truth is that like if, for example, like Pavia is an excellent school, but if you asked 99% of Europeans, where is Pavia? They would not be able to tell you. So University of Pavia doesn't really sound like much, but it is an excellent university. Whereas say uh, a city like I don't know, like Rome. Rome is huge. Everyone will recognize Rome. If you say University of Rome, <laughs> there is no University of Rome. But as an example, people will instantly recognize it because Rome is a huge city. And that is just to demonstrate that the rankings are actually incredibly meaningless. Most people don't even understand how they work. And when you are applying to do a specialty program, a residency program in most countries, they don't actually check the ranking of your university. It's based on a standardized exam. It's based on an interview. It's based on clinical experience in other places. The ranking of the university does not matter. What you should actually care about when you are choosing your university is the city. You need to look at each city and see if that's a city that you are going to vibe with. Because trust me, you are going to spend six years. You might think that you might be willing to up with a city you don't like for a good university for six years but you will be miserable 99 percent of fifth and sixth years i talk to don't actually give like they don't care about their university they sometimes regret the city that they chose though so don't ask which is the best university ask which is the best city for me because the standard of teaching is going to be more or less same in all of the universities sure some of them might be slightly more organized or might give you slightly more resources but the truth is the standard is going to be more or less the same in all of the cities in all of the universities so please make your choice based on the city that you vibe with if you like big metropolitan chaotic cities choose rome if you want something a little bit more like tranquil and quiet and you know there's only 500 people that exist there choose pavia if you want to be able to go to the beach and have a nice time choose like bari or choose messina choose make your choice based on the city and not the university because there is no such thing as best university the next most asked question following up from that is can you transfer university Yes, you can, but it depends on a few different things. There is a much more detailed article on the website that will tell you exactly how it works and what the process is. You can transfer from one university to another if the teaching curriculum lines up. For example, Milan teaches more of a system based, so they have lots of different subjects in one class, whereas like example, my university, La Sapienza, teaches subject based. So we do anatomy separately, we do biochemistry separately. So you can transfer in between universities where these two systems match. But like you can't really go from Sapienza to Pavia or Milan. Um, maybe you can, but you might have to repeat a lot of time because again, the curriculum is so different. So you can transfer if you fulfill the teaching curriculum requirements. Um, there's a lot more detailed article on the website. So I really advise you to go and read that to get a better idea. Next is what is the IMAT exam? The IMAT exam is a 90 minute multiple choice question style test 
that is divided into biology, chemistry, physics, and a section that used to be logical reasoning, but now is divided into general knowledge and logical reasoning. So there is a different number of questions in each of them. Very recently, the general knowledge questions ha have actually like really, really increased. Uh, my personal opinion on this is, questionable, so I'm not going to share it. So it is just a 90 multiple choice question exam. And then based on your result of this exam, you are placed into a ranking and based on the ranking, you will get one of your choices. Now the system is actually really complicated and it changes if you are a non-European Union student or a European Union student. So again, uh, it's not to constantly plug the website. It's just that I can't do justice to explaining what are in the articles in such a short video. But if you go onto the website, you can read more about the breakdown of the exam, what resources we suggest that are free um, to a certain degree, uh, like books, I mean, and also how the system works, not only in the application, but the results, because the IMAT scrolling is one of the most confusing parts that students ask about. They don't understand why European students get so many different rounds and non-European students don't. Why do non-European students get only one choice and European students get multiple choices? Why does the ranking take years? So really like, uh, it's kind of complicated, but the IMAT is an exam that will allow you to uh, study medicine in English in Italy, but everything to do with the exam and the results and how to understand the process and the different things relating to it, I really advise you go to the website and read a little bit more about it because I won't be able to fit it into one video. The next one is how long does the course last? Uh, most universities in Europe, undergraduate like medical programs are is six years. And that's because we do an MD, which is a doctorate of medicine compared to the UK, which does an MBBS. And this is like a bachelor's in medicine and a bachelor's in surgery. This is typically five years. I wrote a more detailed article on what the difference between an MD and an MBBS is, but basically an MD is a more academic degree. You have to do a thesis that you have to then defend in your sixth year in order to graduate. So this is a PhD level degree, whereas an MBBS is not academic because you don't have to prepare a dissertation and a thesis that you defend. So it's typically five years and is at a master's level. So an MD is just like a slightly like one inch higher at, in other countries such as uh, India. I know that the MBBS is considered the undergraduate and then you have to complete additional studies to get an MD. So in Italy, we do an undergraduate MD and that takes six years. It's divided into preclinical years, clinical years, and you must complete a thesis. One of the final questions is what are the costs? Studying medicine in Italy is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly cheap. It is completely based on your income. But even if you come from a very, very wealthy family, the maximum amount you pay is usually around two to 3,000 euro for the entire year in the public universities. If you come from a uh, low income family or from a developing country where your GDP is a lot lower, you can actually pay as low as I think like 150 euro for the full academic year. So it is incredibly cheap to study here. Uh, depending on the city you pick, the cost of living can be really, really high or really, really low. So like if you go to a city like Milan or Rome, it's going to be a lot higher compared to if you go to a city like Messina. So the cost of living can be very, very cheap, but the tuition fees are very cheap. You don't have books that you are required to buy. Usually the university provides you with a lot of resources. So it is an incredibly cheap place to study. And following up from that, the last question is, uh, are there scholarships? Yes, every region of Italy. So Italy is divided into many, many regions which contain the cities and each region has its own scholarship grant slash bursary system. So based on the region, you can actually get a lot of different reductions in fees. You might actually get monthly payments. You might get your accommodation accommodation provided. You might even get your food provided to you for free, depending on your family income. But also there are a lot of merit based ones, which means that like based on your grades or where you place in the ranking in the IMAT, you can get like an allowance, you can get your fees reduced, you might get your meals free, you might get accommodation. So it's not only that there is like family income based scholarship, but there are also like excellence scholarships and in general, Italy is incredibly cheap to study in, but also it is very, very, very generous. It doesn't discriminate against 
if you're an Italian student or if you're an international student. If you're an international student, it's a little bit harder to apply to these scholarships because of the number of documents that are necessary and you have to get them translated, but they do not discriminate uh, based on your uh, country of origin, which I think is really, really incredible. And yeah, that covers all of our most frequently asked questions. Uh, if there's anything else you would like to know, please let me know in the comments or please let me know on DMs on either the Instagram account or my own account. We are working very hard to bring you like very honest and very informative interviews as well as questions, uh, videos and articles. And yeah, just please let me know if there's anything else you would like to know. And uh, yeah, start learning Italian today, please. I know this wasn't a question and a statement, but I really can't emphasize this enough. And yeah, see you in the next video.